Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema here to review the Blu-ray release of The Criminal, the 1960 feature directed by Joseph Losey, starring Stanley Baker uh, and Sam Wanamaker. Um, Kino Lorber, who's put out The Criminal, also uh, has resurrected one of Losey's uh, more notable works, Accident, uh, one of his three uh, Harold Pincher uh, screenplay classics. Uh, the Criminal is a bit less known. It's a uh, neo-noir uh, which also bears Lozier's name because he was uh, obviously blacklisted due to uh, the McCarthyism and uh, directed several features in England before he started being able to even use his name again there. Uh, he uses uh, Stanley Baker to star as the criminal, uh, Johnny Banyan, who is uh, Sprung from prison by his friend, played by Sam Wanamaker, he pulls a heist, uh, robbing a horse track, and buries the money in a frozen field somewhere, and then gets thrown back in prison. Uh, the narrative is something we've seen time and time again, and if you compare this to something like uh, Stanley Kubrick's The Killing, which is a film that goes into great detail about a, a racetrack heist, then, you know, the criminal will seem potentially underwhelming. But like many of Losey's, fil Losey's films, he uh, is kind of gutting the genre uh, to make different kinds of uh, narrative focal points uh, and kind of characterizations, uh, such as this is a film that uh, Stanley Baker's Johnny Banyan, he's just as much restricted in his prison environment as he is on the outside world, which he seems to be kind of clueless about. Um, the film was released in the U.S. as The Concrete Jungle, which probably was a way to capitalize on the success of the earlier film noir, The Asphalt Jungle. Uh, it'll definitely remind you of The Killing, with Stanley Baker, uh, who was in Lozier's Ava, uh, Blind Date, and Accident. Uh, the film has a lot of similarities with Peter Yates' uh, uh, feature film debut, Robbery, which came out in 67 as well. Uh, the women don't really have anything to do. Uh, there's Jill Bennett as his ex and Margie Sad as his uh, new love interest that becomes his downfall. Uh, the ending, this very stark, uh, I'd say an excellent ending, recalls everyone from Francois Truffaut to uh, the Coen brothers. Uh, and it was scripted by Alan Owen, who was Oscar nominated for writing A Hard Day's Night. Uh, another highlight is The Prison Warden, uh, played by a very angry looking Patrick McGee, who you might realize as uh, one of the supporting players from A Clockwork Orange. Uh, all in all, I would give crim The Criminal uh, three and a half out of five stars, and Kino Lorber's Blu ray release three out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.